Do you believe God can be a human being? A long time ago, yes. No, I don't believe in God, actually. Do you believe someone created you? Let me tell you a word, my friend. Go ahead. Evolution. How did nature know that your eyes would be here and not on your Why didn't nature select this to be better? There's no answer for that, actually. If nature knew where to put him, who programmed nature to know where to put him? You actually blew my mind. I, I can't answer that. Street, street tower. The game's not over. They're moving on to the fifth question. Let's go! Let's go! We're gonna make this happen, okay? Game is simple. I'm gonna ask you five questions about Islam. If you answer these questions correct, you're gonna win this and keep it, okay? What was the gift slash miracle given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came back from Isra wal Miraj? That is the correct answer. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Does dying scare you? No. Why? He's he's scared. Clearly. Why? Yeah, so why don't you have that fear? Why is it that you're okay with that? Because life is life, like, I don't know. Sometimes we're gonna die, so live life until you die. Yeah, just in the moment. Yeah. So let me ask you this, my friend. What do you believe happens to you when you die? I think it, what happens is you're asleep. So you don't feel anything, you're just sleeping. But for eternity. For eternity? Yeah, that's it. So that's it? Yeah. That's it. So do you have to be good or bad on this earth? Does it matter? No, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, I don't believe in God, actually. Okay. So I think it's just a, a stage of sleep. Okay. That's for eternity. Okay. So then what's the point? Why not just murder everyone? Why not go into that school in Texas, right? And just murder them? Because there's consequences. You can go to jail. No, I kill myself. I'm going to go to sleep. You ever, I, I love sleep. Me too. Exactly. Yeah, but, no but there's consequences. If you kill yourself, then just. What's the consequence? The meaning. But yeah. hold on, hold on. But my friend, look, you're saying that there's nothing after this, mm. okay? You just go for a long sleep. I love sleep. She clearly loves sleep. Yeah. Do you love sleep? I do. Yeah. So, so why not? Why not go for the best sleep of your life? Because you need permanent. Because you need to live your life, man. Okay. That's the the gift someone gave us. Life gave us. Someone gave you. Well, my dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's the gift, man. If you die, if you kill yourself, then it's just a, the same thing for eternity. So, do you believe that you created yourself? I don't actually. Okay, pause this right now. The Muslims in Norway need our help. Alhamdulillah, Islam is spreading at a fast pace in Norway. And with the growing community, a masjid is needed. Join me and Islamnet as we build a one of its kind dawah center and masjid in the country of Norway. So click the link below and join this noble cause as we make history together. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right now and let's make this happen. Okay. Do you believe someone created you? Yes, my dad. Your dad did. So when you were in the belly of your mommy, hmm, right? He went in there with a microscope yeah. and some tweezers, made sure your heart was beating and everything. How did that happen? That's nature. 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 So nature just developed this idea that this is how we are going to be evolved into. Let me tell you a word, my friend. Go ahead. Evolution. So evolution is this idea that through messing up, through errors, you're able to perfect how it needs to be done. Correct. Does that make sense? Correct. So once upon a time, your eyes were not here. They were somewhere else. No, they weren't because I didn't exist. How did nature know that your eyes would be here and not on your... Why didn't nature select this to be better? Where is this at once upon a time and then somehow it came up over here? Why? You blew my f***ing mind. <laughs> I don't know what you're you, yeah, Do you yeah, understand yeah. what I'm asking you? I understand right. that I... I how, di how did it know it had to be there? You actually blew my mind. I, I can't answer that. You see? You're correct. You're yeah. correct. And, and the, it's not... Because I'm not trying to be correct. I'm not trying... I'm just trying to push some thinking, some ideas and some thoughts, right? If nature knew where to put them, who programmed nature to know where to put them? The universe. Okay. Yeah. So, there's a day and a night. Exactly. Sun and the moon, right? Day and the night, okay? Have you ever been, you guys are visiting, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's why you're so nice. That's why you're so nice. New Yorkers are not this nice. Where are you visiting from? Argentina. Argentina. Me too. You too. Okay, wonderful. So let me ask you this, right? Has a taxi, an Uber, yeah. a train, a plane, or some type of thing that's transitional ever been late? Yes. Right? You've had yeah. lateness, right? You've had lateness. Yes. It's been our country. In, in your country, yeah. right? My country from Pakistan, that has all the time. There are no rules, right? Traffic lights are just no, suggestions. In, in our city, it's the same. Yeah. Right? Traffic lights are just suggestions. You're in right? the same uh, day, man. There we go, right? There we go. But 
Has the day and night ever been late? No. The day and night is so precise, it's so mathematically correct that you could go on your phone right now and predict what is going to be the sunrise and sunset, that's correct? What, that's what we created time. Yes. That's we, why. Okay, that's fine. But my question is, you didn't create that transition. No. My question is this, why isn't the day and night ever late? Because once again, that was nature program. Nature program? Yeah. So nature knew far the earth had to be from the sun the exact millimeters the exact distance because there's no room for error right correct In natural selection they, you could make errors 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 with this there is no error my friend yeah. right one error everything no life can exist so the question is this how is it such mathematically designed? did it just do itself um well there's no answer for that actually that's because uh, of the universe, and the universe always existed and will always exist. Okay. And no one created the universe, because if you try to think of a god that created that universe, then you have to also think of a god that created that god, and, uh -huh. and so on, so on, so on. That makes on. sense. Yeah. Do you, he said, he made a stance clear that he doesn't believe in a creator. Do you believe in a creator? I would say Jesus, but I'm not 100%. Okay. So you were raised in perhaps a household that has like something. Are you guys related to each yeah. other? You guys? Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I'm talking to the whole family right now. Bigger brother? Big brother, okay. So are you just here by yourself or family or parents? Uh, my family actually went to the hotel. Yeah. Oh, wow, so you're just here by yourselves? Yeah. Okay, now this, this creepy guy is just here talking to you with a big old camera. No worries. Right. We're having no fun. Worries. We're having fun. Okay, we're having fun. Okay. My Pakistani friend. There we go. There we go. My Argentinian friend. My man, Manu Ginobili. You know about Manu Ginobili? Of course. There we go. Basketball, basketball yeah. absolutely. Right. So you're saying Jesus, right? So you believe in a creator, but you're saying that may or may not be Jesus. Do you believe God can be a human being? Long time ago, yes, but I don't think, uh, I don't know. I'm just here to mess with your minds a little bit, push your I thoughts like a little bit. You like no, it, right? I like, I love we need it. more I love We need more conversations like this. I needed this. I needed hey, yeah. We all do, right? Yeah. So, you do not believe that God could be a human being? Well, that, to me, that makes sense as well, too, right? Because human beings have limits. By definition, if we were to just play with the idea of God, like if there is a creator, right? Let's not even call him God. Let's say creator or X or whatever, right? Just some, some being, some entity, some force, some energy, right? Some designer, some programmer, right? This programmer, this designer needs to have certain qualities, okay? If this designer is a human being, well, have you ever had to use the bathroom before really, really bad? Yeah. Right? I got to use the bathroom really, really bad. That's why you guys are my last interview today, right? Okay. I got to run to the bathroom after this, right? When you got to go to the bathroom really, really bad, sure. like I'm talking about like you really had to pee, like bad time, you have nothing but to think about but relieving yourself. Does that make sense? Yes. Right? That makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. If by... If you're saying that the creator is a human being, imagine God having to pee. Imagine that. Look how limited that is. Right? But God definitely doesn't have limits. By definition, God shouldn't have the limits, right? What God has is certain qualities and characteristics, right? Because someone might say, okay, if God doesn't have limits, then he should be able to use the bathroom. But God shouldn't need to use the bathroom. Which brings us to the next quality of God. He is not dependent. He is not in need. You see, needs are human qualities. You understand? Yeah. God, this creator, not God, but I'm saying God because he just keeps up and out, right? This creator should not have any needs. He shouldn't get tired. You understand? Right. Yeah. Because a creator, this almighty creator, shouldn't get tired. Make sense? Yeah. Right? Yes. A creator shouldn't have those type of limitations. A creator, by this definition, has to be in existence always because then the question of who made him the who made him the who made him and this creator cannot have a gender Correct. Yeah. Cannot have a you know why if the creator had a gender that means that gender is better than all the other genders if god is a man does that Yo, mean man are better that's than that's a good woman? point yes no see, yeah. see? Yeah. okay <laughs> see god then you're saying a sexist you see, yeah. that sexist. doesn't make no. sense exactly now god also can't be a man a human being because then what was his race? Are you saying that race is better than all the other races? You understand what I'm saying? So there's certain qualities that this creator has to have that 
do not come in the form of human beings. This creator has to be above his creation, meaning better than his creation. He cannot yeah. be his creation. Does that make sense? That's why he cannot be a human being as well too. So God has to be this energy. This creator has to be an energy, the source of energy, this life, whatever you want to call it. But he cannot have those limitations. He cannot be a human being. He cannot be a man. No gender, no right? No gender uh -huh. and no race. Now, I'm going to give you another point. Yeah. He cannot have children. Let me tell you why. That means his progeny. And have you ever seen in the kings and all those sort of stuff, the, the son becomes jealous and they try to get, that's Hamlet. Yeah. Right? There's a whole drama about, about that, it, right? Yeah. Now, what happens if there's multiple creators? If he has a brother, oh, then the brother's trying to take the throne. Let's suppose there's three creators, right? Nothing would ever get created because we all have to be in agreement. It's a board of directors. If there's a creator, this creator is supreme. He's the only one who makes the decisions. He is sovereign in his decision making. He is almighty, all knowing, all wise. He understands, right? Because he knows what needs to get done. There's not multiple creators then. Okay, what do you agree? Let's all vote guys. Who agrees with it, right? Who gets to say, who does it? That shows hierarchy. That's very Greek mythology kind of idea. So this creator has to be one and alone. That's why I'm saying he doesn't exist. Mm. Because of all these qualities, you believe he doesn't exist. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Or perhaps you know of his existence. Well, it never was proven to me, so. Uh huh, right? Now, look, how old are you? I'm 18. Yeah. And you know what the problem with 18 is? We sometimes think we know it all. <laughs> we know it all. Hey, maybe, maybe. Hey, listen, but you know what? We had this conversation. We started thinking that, you know what? I don't believe in anything at all. But you were open enough listen to some new ideas, right? I, I'm always open to it. And some of these ideas actually gave you something to think about. Yeah, true. Correct? Correct. Yes. Right? Now, before I continue to blow your mind, I need to stop over here and say no more mind blowing. Okay. We're not going to do that anymore. We got, we got to slow down the process as well too. I'm going to give you one more quality of this creator. One more. That if this creator is the creator of all every atom, every proton, every on every neutron, everything in existence, okay? This creator has a very special attachment and connection with this creation. It is not like a creator that does that and abandons and just walks away and does his own thing, no. This creator wants to create a relationship and the ultimate relationship is the acknowledgement of its existence that it is it exists, right? This creator wants you to develop a link with them and the ultimate knowledge is understanding that there might be a creator and if there is what are you going to do about it are you going to seek more are you going to dig a little bit more right now my friend have i given you enough to think about a little bit yeah yes yeah, a, yeah, lot. Yeah. I hope a lot yes right? i hope so in all fairness right and this is not because of the camera i hope i've given you something to think about okay you actually changed my mind a bit about certain things sure sure listen yeah. i'm listen my friend it's not me who could change your mind or anything like that you came over here on a holiday now you're leaving with some new information. Our job is to teach each other. You've taught me some things, believe it or not. You've taught me some things as well too. We're all learning from each other. Listen, we're all here to learn from each other, right? But we need to be sincere in our knowledge. We have to be sincere. Like we are actually trying to figure out, yeah. right? If you were without a shadow of a doubt proven with real evidence, reasoning, that there is a creator, would you believe? If I was proven, in what way? So that's the thing, right? You Proof needs to come by your understanding as well too, right? So you need to have some standards or proof is. Start figuring out what those proof is, right? Think about those things, right? What needs to be there to be proven? Let me give you an example. Yeah. Oftentimes people say, seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Let, let's, let's play with this idea for a second, right? And then I'm gonna let you go. Let's assume that the stories of like, you've heard of people like Moses before? Yeah. Okay, you've heard of Moses, sure. right? Sure. You've heard of obviously of Jesus as well too, right? There was people, let's assume that this is all real. Let's assume. There was people who saw the miracles of Jesus, yet they still disbelieved. True? True. Yes. Right? True. So, okay. There was people who saw the miracles of Moses when he split the sea and they went on the other side and they went on the side and they started worshiping a cow or something, right? They saw the thing and they didn't believe. True? True. So seeing is not believing. You understand? Those are the messengers of this God, right? Of this creator. And they still didn't believe. So seeing is not believing it is the hearts that need to see so as long as you're sincere you will see be sincere okay i want to leave you with a gift okay and this is a gift so that you can ponder and think a little bit more okay okay, okay. ponder and think a little bit more can we have the gift please okay this is a copy of the quran 
Have you ever heard the Quran before? It was from like some of the um, uh, Arabia, Midwest. You see, there's a lot that you have to learn, my friend. Okay, this book over here not only has scientific miracles, but you're a person of science. I think you'll appreciate. It, yeah. Okay? This book has never been changed or altered. If you go to any country, oh, there's not like old Quran, old one, new, only one. One. Okay. It is the most memorized book in the world, my friend. If you know, we were to bring all the texts and put them in the ocean, the Bible, the Quran, all of them, all of them, all of them, right? The Quran by the same evening will be brought back. It's been memorized. So it's all the same. It is all, all the same. same. It never, never changed. Never changed, yeah. my friend. Okay? That's powerful. That's very powerful. Now, the other thing is this. During the life of the Prophet Muhammad, who was the last and final messenger, just like Jesus, Moses, he was the last messenger. This book was compiled while he was alive. So you know what Jesus, when he died, yeah. that's when they started collecting the books and all that. People, uh -huh. yeah. So he wasn't there to say, no, 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 that's not me. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, that's it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's up for grabs. What is, what is it? So they have the Treaty of Nicaea. They burn the books. They say, that's good. That's bad. Uh, toss yeah, it up. They change it, yeah. During his life, it was all compiled, my friend. Mm. And it's memorized. There's only one version. Okay? And this is this, the Holy Quran. This is the one. This is the Quran. Now, in this book is tons of scientific miracles, my friend. I think you're going to appreciate that yeah. most. And for you, you mentioned the word Jesus. Jesus is mentioned in the Quran as well. And there's a chapter called Mary or Maryam, which is the mother of Jesus. Peace and blessing be upon him. Okay? Have a read at it. So the Study it. The Quran is like a mix of religion and scientific. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a book of science. It's a book no. of signs. Because each thing, you know, how everything in English is called a verse? It's yeah. called a verse, right? Yeah. The Arabic word is called ayah. Ayah. And ayah means sign. So it is not a verse, it is a sign for those who understand, who have intellect. It's a sign, it will appeal to your knowledge. It will appeal to your heart. Join me and IslamNet as we build a one of its kind Dawah Center and Masjid in the country of Norway. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right now and let's make this happen. If you approach it with sincerity, I promise you, you will see a new vision. And that's what we want for you, my friend. My friend, thank you so much for your time. No, seriously, you seriously, my guy. Seriously, I this was. I will read it. I will read listen, it. Listen, this is going to be on my YouTube channel called Way of Life SQ. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Check it out, and you'll see yourself in maybe a week and a half or two weeks. I'll check it out. Okay, my guy. Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. Take care.